What do you make of what happened yesterday? Oh, wow, that was crazy. And, and by the way, Don, thank you very much. Uh, but you have to think, if the market was up 2.6 percent with a hot inflation number, what would it have done if the number was cool? I mean, up 6 percent? I mean, that was really crazy. So you have to begin to wonder if there are investors out there willing to take some risk. Because up until that point, we saw the skittishness and concern and impulsive selling immediately on bad news because the people who had bought the market didn't want anything to do with risk associated with higher inflation and higher interest rates. But for some reason, that evaporated and there was a flood of buyers coming into the market who understood that there's inflation, that eventually the Fed is going to control this inflation. And we have a market that was down at that point 28 percent year to date. A lot of that bad news was in stock prices. And not only 28 percent, that's the S&P. But if you think about energy being up this year and consumer staples being flat, pretty good, pretty good stocks, really good stocks this year, there are many sectors that are down 30 percent, stocks down 40, 50 or 60 percent. And so I think it made sense that you saw or I was pleased that we saw some investors and buyers make commitments because they were attractively priced equities and that they believe that the numbers backward looking will start to improve. Carrie, do you think that they were fundamental buyers making a commitment or was it short covering? That's a good question. You know, there's there's been discussion about short covering. That was an awful lot of short covering. I mean, yes, of course, there was some short covering to go from on the Dow down 500 to up 700 or eight. I mean, what a thousand. I mean, that was huge. That wasn't just short covering. That was massive moves that included short covering. But there were some there were some big institutions that started buying. Of course, black boxes were buying, but they had to be doing it on the fact that valuations are low to some extent. And there were signals suggesting this is an oversold market. Now, real money managers, and you're one it, of them, you know, you, you invest people's money. So as people put more money yeah. with you, you invest it. So maybe a lot of mutual funds started getting orders throughout the course of the day that they then started to put to work in the market. I, I wonder, in the time we have left, I, I want to I know what goes on your shopping list. Is, is it tech? Sure. Is it energy? Is it, what, where are you finding value in, in this kind of a market? You know, it's interesting, Tom. Last week, uh, we were buying some shares of stocks that had really been clobbered, like Align, which is a healthcare company, Invisalign. You know, we bought that stock. We bought First Republic, a name we'd owned for many years, but hadn't owned it for the last uh, year or so because we thought they were at prices, you know, we couldn't resist. So there are some stocks that we've, we've been buying and we would like to buy more of that, again, have been clobbered, whether it's PayPal, Meta, Adobe. I said First Republican line, but also we have a mix of names that have been relatively good performers. So they have defensive characteristics, including UNH, which is reporting today, Thermo Fisher, O'Reilly Auto and Health Equity. So we're trying to balance that. But on the buy side, I think what's more attractive today, if you can handle it, because, you know, we don't know where the bottom is, but we have to be close on some names to put the money in in some tech names, in some of the really beaten up uh, consumer discretionary stocks and in communications where, you know, they've been just destroyed because of the fears of uh, recession, lower advertising, you know, Meta and Google are examples that, you know, we think have upside potential, but you have to be able to handle that, you know, mentally and, and, de and deal with that uh, and, and be calm. So yeah. that's what I suggest.